So last year we did a big study of Canadian kids and we came to the realization that early life micro microbes inside the body, they seem to affect the asthma outcome later in life. Once we knew that you know these Canadian bugs were, were influencing asthma in Canadian children, the question becomes, well, does it, is it universal? Are they the same microbes elsewhere? And so what we did is we set up a study in a rural village in Ecuador and we were sampling the feces and what we found in, in this Ecuador study is that yes indeed the early life microbes at three months of age plays a big role but they were different microbes. In the Ecuadorian study we found that there was this type of yeast called Pekia that seemed to really if you had it you were much more at risk for asthma and this is the first time anyone's shown any kind of yeast association with this. But the one thing that really surprised us is that some people had access to clean good water right? and others didn't. Those that had access to good clean water had actually had much higher um, asthma rates um, you know, because they're being deprived of these beneficial microbes we think and that was actually a real surprise. They think clean is good, right? Let's clean up the world but we realize now that you actually need some dirt in the world to actually you know, give you these microbes to help protect things.